evening to be in Louisville, Kentucky, in the Louisville Gardens, where in just a few moments, we're going to be underway with the opening bout for a championship wrestling program as the folks start to file in for what is going to be a great night of action here in Louisville. In the opening match, the Assassins go against Steve Regal and Rick Morton. Then it'll be the superstar, Bill Dundee, tangling with Big Sonny King. A Southern Tag Team Championship match when Paul Ellering, Ali Hussein, with Jimmy Hart at ringside, will be challenging the current champs, Kenny Lucas and Billy Robinson. Then in a match that'll have two referees, Schultz and Condry will be taking on Rick and Robert Gibson. And finally, a Southern Heavyweight title match, Handsome Jimmy Valiant goes against the strong man from Minnesota, Paul Ellery. Hello again, everybody. This is Lance Russell. And in just a moment, we're going to be in the ring with wrestling action coming up on this championship wrestling program. Right now, let's take time out for this. In the ring, Lance Russell in Louisville Gardens for an outstanding guard lined up tonight for Louisville, Kentucky, with Steve Regal in with the assassin number one, I believe. Difficult to tell on these guys. Rick Morton, Steve's partner, in the back right-hand corner. Referee Paul Morton. One fall, 15-minute time limit bout. We're about four minutes into action. And the big assassin goes with a body slam on Regal. Whoa! Boy, let me tell you. Couple of biggies, but Regal knows how to handle it. Use their own weight and leverage against them. He did, in fact, make that assassin number two that just stepped out. Number one coming in right now. He's the bigger of the two. He'll go over 300 pounds. Steve Regal on the right. Rick Morton in the background. And the referee saying, let's break it up off the ropes. Ooh. And he got a break of sorts. Steve Regal didn't. He caught a knee to the midsection. He's under. Drop kick. The assassin down to cover one. Regal, not his best drop kick as the assassin was pulling away, but he got a one count out of it. Snapped those ears under that mask. And he, in fact, is staying right in it with Rick Morton. Beauty. Now, there was a double drop kick. Morton covers one, two, but the other assassin in takes him off of it. And Rick Morton, look at him go. Referee over to get him out of the ring, and Rick is back to work on assassin number one. What an aggressive young fellow this is. Love it every time I see him in the ring. Picks up more experience all the time. Into the ropes. Back with a shoulder. Rick Martin over the top. And he lifts up and nails him as he went over this time. Hit that deck, hit it hard. Did he mess up a shoulder? Referee's checking him closely. The big assassin, number one, tags out. Here comes the other assassin. Rick, back down. Steve Regal way over in the corner, nailing the assassin who had gone over to provoke him. But Rick Morton trying to get there, can't make it. Out of the ring goes Morton, was not over the top rope. Down on the floor, referee starts the count. He has a 10 count to get back in the ring. If he is uninterrupted, which he wasn't, as the assassin charges to the ring, grabs Morton immediately, whips him across. Backdrop. He is a cover, but I believe he was under. No, I see it made the tag prior. Yeah, that's what the referee was calling him on. And Rick Morton taking quite a pounding right now. He is a long way away from Steve Regal. He's reaching, but to no avail. Stirring the crowd. We're just past the seven minute mark with eight minutes to wrestle. In the corner, Morton hammered back. Oh, shoulder from the big assassin, number two. 
He nailed him with a forearm. It's legal, except he was on the ropes. A wave at Steve Regal, but he can't get to him. Figure four clutch. The assassin has him. Crowd, along with Steve Regal, trying to help Rick Martin get spurred into action. Rick. And as he started over the top, he was tackled down. And the other assassin, after a tag, drops with a big elbow. And a right hand. Referee gives a warning to no avail. Eight and a half minutes. Shot from Rick. Fires a foot out. Get your move to the corner, Rick. That's what you need. He can't get it. Oh, so close, but so far. He's over, but the referee trying to get the other assassin out of there. He missed the tag. And the crowd hollering as Rick Morton blasted down on his back. Over the ropes as the referee arguing with Regal. Regal, obviously, with a good point. The referee did not see the tag as he was trying to get the other assassin out. Rick Morton fighting his way back up onto the edge of the ring. Oh, he is sprung hard off that top rope by the assassin and back down on the floor. Morton was on the outside on the apron when the assassin put the knee to him then. We're six seconds away from the 10 minute mark. It's a 15-minute match. Yeah, and a towering suplex brings Rick Morton prone on that mat. And the assassin missed him. He was trying to spear him, a la Sonny King, off the ropes. Little switcheroo with the assassins. Morton, look at that kid fight. Here comes Regal, tag or no tag. All four of them in. There goes Regal out. We only have four minutes to wrestle. Oh! The assassin, probably with a loaded headgear, although he couldn't see it. Count of one, two, and it's three. The winner. 11 minutes and 10 seconds. Rick Martin, Steve Regal, great win over the assassins whose skullduggery did themselves in. A victory for Regal and Morton in 11 minutes and 10 seconds. And we're going to be back with a super single match. The superstar Bill Dundee against Sonny King right after we take time out for this. Back to Wave Country's Championship Wrestling in just a moment. I'll give you the entire card for the Louisville Gardens next Tuesday in just a moment. But I do want to mention two matches right now. Bill Dundee faces Sonny King and handsome Jimmy Valiant and Ken Lucas go against the Southern Tag Team Champions Paul Ellering and Ali Hossein. More about that in just a moment. Bill, Sonny King is the guy you got your eye on next Tuesday. In the That's garden. right, Lance. Nobody likes it. Sonny King said I didn't beat him. Sonny, as far as I'm concerned, and all the people out there, I beat your brother, and you know it. And I'm going to do it again just to prove it to you. Thank you, Lance. Okay, Billy. I'll tell you one thing for a fact. You know that's got to be some kind of match in there. Ken, you're teaming up with Handsome Jimmy, a wild man indeed. You're going after those Southern Tag titles. 
They're dear to your heart, and they mean a lot to the pocketbook. First of all, Lance, I want to thank uh, Handsome Jimmy for what he did. You know, they burnt Billy Robson very, very bad. They had me down, beat me halfway to death. And one thing I don't do out there in that wrestling ring, my friend, is playing any head games. Now, Ellery, who's saying at heart, you guys are going to pay. You've got my head all scarred up. My main man got all burnt, and we lost the belts. But I'm going to tell you right now, I got my new partner coming in right now, and we're going to do one thing, is we're going to take those belts back any way we can. And I've got the man here to get the job done. Handsome Jimmy Valiant he's talking about. Kenny, Lancer, everybody knows that the oil sheik's a freak. Everybody knows, baby. You know, this guy thinks he's oil can Harry. He thinks he's a fire bug. Me and Kenneth Lucas, my very personal friend, we're going to get revenge, baby. We're going to get revenge for the fire. He threw the fire, brother. We're, I'm a fire chief. You understand what I mean? I'm going to put this fire out. Me and Kenny Lucas, Smokey Bear and the fire chief, we're coming at you, brother. We're going to fall in squaw. We're going to climb the wall. Hands up, Jimmy. Boy, what up? We're going to get him, brother. He's going to be all over. Sheep. Handsome Jimmy, Ken Lucas, you'll be looking at it next Tuesday in the gardens. Action, single match. We told you about it, Billy Dundee, the super tough little Australian going against Big Sonny King. King at uh, 253 out of McCall, Louisiana. Billy at about 206 from Australia. Sonny King complaining to the referee about Bill using his fist. I, I'm not going to stand here, sit here, or whatever, and tell you that Billy wouldn't use his fist, but Sonny King certainly is not above it either. King, by the way, an outstanding boxer before his professional wrestling days. Whoa, look at that Australian go. Holy mackerel. Dundee pounding on Sonny. Just won't quit. Sonny King slowed him down a little, though, as he took him across the eyes. Billy grabs the ropes, puts the foot, puts the hand. Oh. Dundee. Figuring one way to go with King. Got to be super aggressive. Billy gets outside the ropes. <laughs> Referee Tommy Marlin pulled a short halter on him as he grabbed him and said, let's keep the fighting in the ring, not out on the floor. Sonny King. With a five count already, he's got up to ten. Sonny spitting a little red stuff out of his mouth where Dundee nailed him when he was down on the floor. Billy just stands swarming all over him. So one fall, 15-minute time limit bout. We're four minutes into the match. Bill Dundee on the left, Sonny King on the right. Championship Wrestling, Louisville Garden. Before the night's out, we hope to get a look at some of the faces of the Louisville fans gathered here for the action. And you see some of them there right behind Sonny King. Crowd continuing to come in on what's a good night in the gardens for an outstanding card. We still have to come the Southern Tag Match, Southern Heavyweight Match. We've got a Schultz and Condry against the Gibson with two referees. Plenty of action yet to go. Sonny over the top. Billy, drop kick, beauty. There's the timer's five minute call. Dundee. He ain't just staying on top of Sonny King, literally. He's all over him. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Right in the choppers. Wow. Bill picks up a step. Maul Sonny King. That's great for Billy. The only thing I can say is. Keep it going till you get a win, Bill, because, boy, if King ever gets up, as mad as he'll be, that big guy is something. Right now, I can tell you who's hot, and that's the referee, Thomas Marlin. And he finally gets Dundee back up in the corner. He probably said, how would you like an early visit to the showers? All Bill wants is some more of Sonny King. 
For the life of me, I would not know why, but Dundee, not afraid of Sherman Tank himself. Look at him jump on King. Dundee, really high tonight. Hollering at the crowd. Sonny King had someone drop in to visit. Ooh, and King hammered. Back of his head hit that ring post. Billy really loving the floor tonight. He's been out there and referee Thomas Marlin getting a little exasperated with all the floor action. Giving you a last warning, Bill, he says. We're past the seven minute mark with eight minutes to go in this one fall 15 minute match. Sonny King still not back in the ring as yet. Ring announcer Bob Moody had to scurry out of there. Oh, did you see Dundee slide into second base? It was using Sonny King's face as second base. He caught him with his spikes a little high and really railed him off that apron out there. Bill coming after him. Got a chair. Ooh. Thomas Marlin out grabs Dundee in a reverse face lock to pull him off of Sonny. And he really is reading the riot act to Bill. Crowd loving it. Referee not caring for it at all. And now Marlin sends Dundee back again to wait till Sonny gets in there. Sonny, had he, that was Sonny's own T-shirt that Bill was using to tear around his head. Back and Sonny out over the ropes. And Dundee once again. King wouldn't get back in the ring. He goes after him. Sonny down. Well, you can't see Sonny King, but you see what Bill had in mind as he grabbed a chair. Dundee stomping on Sonny King. Now he's back up in the ring. That'd be a great place to have the action. We could get it on the championship wrestling for you. But Billy loving what he's happening to Sonny King. He really is pushing this match as aggressive as I've ever seen, Bill. Nine and a half minutes in. Sonny back in the ring, and now the referee lets Dundee go. Bill fires that right hand. The referee just moves in and backs him away. Sonny King. Past the 10 minute mark, I would say that 96% of it has been Bill Dundee. He took over early by being very aggressive, and he has had King on nothing but the uh oh, I spoke too soon. Sonny spears him. 253 pounds. A flying missile nailed Dundee and put him right on his back. Billy trying to get up. Sonny spears him again.
11 minutes passed, only four minutes to go. Dundee now again we cannot see Dundee because of the crowd but we can see referee Tommy Marlin trying to get Sonny back Sonny takes the steps over and returns a favor to Dundee there's only three minutes left Outstanding chance of a draw right here because it's a one fall 15 minute time limit bout, I believe. The referee is one in, back in the ring. Sonny King walks all the way around, goes up the steps that did remain, and Dundee, you can see him coming up on the front of the ring. Coco Butt, Sonny covers him. Dundee's foot up over the rope. Count of two, Sonny King coming up. Sonny, I think, thinks he won the match. But Bill Dundee wins it. As Dundee stuck in behind King, rolled him back up in a pin position, and Sonny King is furious. Sonny, I think, thought he won the match. Was waiting for the referee to hold his hand up. The referee telling him Dundee had his foot on the rope. Dundee slipped in behind Sonny, rolled him in, and got a three count before King knew what happened. Oh, Sonny King is mad. That's the end of that one, though, with Dundee the winner. In 12 minutes, 47 seconds, we'll be back right after we take time for this. championship style. This is Lance Russell at the Louisville Garden ringside where a big crowd on hand to witness right now the Southern Tag Team Championship match. This one as Billy Robinson takes Ali Hassan over and down. Hassan back to the corner to talk to Paul Ellering. Hassan and Ellering challenging for the Southern Tag Belts the AWA crowns held by Ken Lucas outside the ring and Billy Robinson in the ring at the moment. Ellering does tag in. Manager Jimmy Hart at ringside saying, you got him, you got him, go get him. Fine for you to say. Billy Robinson, premier wrestler from Manchester, England. Woo, Ellering blocked him and Robinson steps back. Takes a look. Oh, oh, yeah. Ellering showing some of those world championship weightlifting muscles of his. Hard to believe. 725 and a quarter pounds. He held the world deadlift record at. Impossible to believe, really, that a man could have held that much and to think somebody broke the record. Bear hug. Ellering. Using those powerful, look at Robinson. Now watch him. Takes him over. No hair, no hair, the referee says. Hart was hollering, Hassan was hollering. Ken Lucas, Billy Robinson, the AWA Southern Tag Champs. Robinson into a full Nelson on the muscle man. Look at that Ellering. Up, nope. can't hold him. strong if you don't believe it just ask him he'll tell you
Paul Nelson held by Paul Ellering on Billy Robinson. Billy trying to snap his way out, not having as much success as Paul did. Oh, well, watch Robinson, a multi-talented guy. Oh, yeah. He used the legs to open the gate and walk right out. <laughs> There's that Americanized strut that Billy picked up. Billy just used his leg. He first used his head and then used his leg to work his way out. Opened the gate and walked his way out. Ellering tags Hassan, the Iranian, in to face Billy Robinson. Shoulder. Down goes Robinson, but right back at him. Side suplex. Robinson caught him on a run and dumped him. Beauty. got whirled around into the corner with Ellering behind and referee Thomas Marlin right on top of the situation. Ellering straight up in the air. Body slam on Robinson. Covers him but the legs on the rope. Not even a count. Ah! Ellering going with a knee lift, and Robinson countered on him. At the five-minute mark, with 55 to go, Ellering has one leg. <laughs> oh, yes! Beautiful monkey flip. Look at that Robinson go. He tags. Tough Kenny Lucas. Big drag by Ken. Nails Hassan on the apron. What a battler this Las Vegas, Nevada wrestler is. Lucas on the right, wrong move. Ken, a little strategy, reversed it on Ellery. Slammed down on the snaz. Paul takes a sand. A big arm drag. Billy Robinson spears him. Good right hand. Referee said, please stay out of it. Six and a half minutes down the drain with exciting wrestling action in this AWA Southern Tag Championship match. Ellering, Ali Hassan challenging Ken Lucas, Billy Robinson in the Louisville Gardens. Jimmy Hart at ringside, keeping an eagle eye out there. Oh. Nice. Lucas got him, hip tossed him halfway across the ring. And a reversal, beauty. Ellering was going to do unto Lucas the way he was done unto, but Kenny reversed it. Big forearm from Robinson. Reverse neck breaker. Billy on top of him, going hard. But here comes Hassan. He doesn't belong in there. Robinson going after him. Jimmy Hart trying to get Hassan's attention to get him back down there, but Robinson has a good hold on him. Ah, 
Billy holding on to the beard. Kenny jumped off. And they thinned Hassan's beard for him. Ooh, one of those singing rights from Lucas. Right in the middle. Robinson firing on the shoulder of Ali Hassan. Oh, he put him into orbit. Instead of whipping him across the ring, Billy just planted the feet, rolled him around, fired him. We're right at the nine minute mark. It's a 60 minute time limit match though. AWA Southern Tag Championship belts at stake. And one of the Southern Tag Champs just caught a foot in the face. Paul Ellering nailed Billy Robinson. Puts him down again. And a one, but the shoulder is up from Robinson. Robinson in a sitting position. Ellering with that surfboard on the arms. the 10-minute call. 50 minutes to go is Robinson now being held by Paul Ellering. Look at Billy trying to cartwheel out. Up. Yeah, kept the momentum going, but Ellering just spun it himself. All right, Robinson may have him. One. Ali Hassan at the count of two nailed Robinson. They were right at the corner, right by Hassan. Got a two count on him. Billy trying to get over to Ken Lucas. As Sand slamming Billy's head into his foot, propped up on the turnbuckle. This time, Robinson grabs it. <laughs> He's got that blocked. Now, Robinson's time. Boy, he got a grip on him. Head and foot. And he nails him with a right hand. up on 13 minutes in.
Robinson running into that brick wall and he's down. Ken Lucas in now with Paul Ellery. Gives one to Hassan for good measure. Tag on Ali Hassan. We may have to take a break here very shortly. This be a good time for it. So everybody stand by. We're going to take time out and come back. This is a one fall 60 minute time limit about one. But that's all he got. So we'll take time out now and we'll be back in just a moment. <laughs> Still some action in the ring yet to come on Channel 3's Championship Wrestling. Back to it in a moment. A little go. I told you I'd give you the entire card for the Louisville Gardens. Boy, what a hot time it is going to be in Louisville Tuesday night. Steve Regal and Rick Morton will be going against the Blonde Bombers. Wayne Ferris and Larry Latham with Danny Davis at ringside. And then a no disqualification match. Mm, what a joy this one's going to be if you like action. Rick and Robert Gibson against David Schultz and Dennis Condry. Then it'll be Bill Dundee matching up with Sonny King. And then a Southern Tag Team title match when handsome Jimmy Valiant teams with Ken Lucas. And they'll be going after the current Southern Tag Team champion, strongman Paul Ellering, Ali Hussein, with manager Jimmy Hart along ringside. And all of that's going to be taking place in the Louisville Gardens Tuesday night. You will not want to miss the action. And by the way, don't miss any of the action yet to come on this particular championship wrestling show. Right now, let's get back to it. The ring, more action from the three championship wrestling. Back to it in a moment. A little go. I told you I'd give you the entire card for the Louisville Gardens. Boy, what a hot time it is going to be in Louisville Tuesday night. Steve Regal and Rick Morton will be going against the Blonde Bombers. Wayne Ferris and Larry Latham with Danny Davis at ringside. And then a no disqualification match. Mm, what a joy this one's going to be. If you like action, Rick and Robert Gibson against David Schultz and Dennis Condry. Then it'll be Bill Dundee matching up with Sonny King. And then a Southern Tag Team title match when handsome Jimmy Valiant teams with Ken Lucas. And they'll be going after the current Southern Tag Team champion, strongman Paul Ellering, Ali Hussein, with manager Jimmy Hart along ringside. And all of that's going to be taking place in the Louisville Gardens Tuesday night. You will not want to miss the action. By the way, don't miss any of the action yet to come on this particular championship wrestling show. Right While you were gone, just a continuation of rugged, tough championship action. As Ellering and Hussein giving Lucas and Billy Robinson everything that they expected in a championship challenge. Ellering hanging on to Ken Lucas now. Kenny over underneath the rope. Here comes Billy Robinson after Jimmy Hart around ringside. Lucas nailed by Ellering. While Robinson was chasing Hart, Hassan held Billy Robinson, or rather Ken Lucas, and Ellering really glommed him off the ropes. We're past the 15-minute mark with 45 minutes to wrestle. Ken's head slammed into the turnbuckle. Lucas down, count of one, two, and Robinson breaks it up. As he nails Hassan from the back and the referee tell him, get out, get out. Here comes Ellering interfering. He has his two fists worth. Hassan had a two count. 
maybe a three, but Billy broke it up. Ellering laces him. Lucas. Nailed by Ellering. Comes back at him. Pops him on. And Robinson nails Hassan. Lucas pounding Ellering. Pounding Ellering. Here comes Jimmy Hart. He busts Billy Robinson while the referee trying to separate Lucas and Ellering. Hart thrown down on the canvas. Ali Hassan. Big ball of fire in there. And Lucas going for a sleeper on Ellering. Billy Robinson. Hassan pushed down, hard up again, breaks the stick over Lucas, jumps out of the ring. Ellering covers one, two, three, and that is going to be it. What a wild and woolly AWA Southern tag match. Ali Hassan. Jumped on Robinson. Fired some fire at him. Really caught him, it looked like, with a ball of fire. Robinson out of the ring and down on the floor. And now, Hassan and Ellering with those belts held high, walking out, Ken Lucas pleading about the face, going after Hassan, Ellering, and Hart. He has gone berserk. Ah, oh, Ellering nails him from behind. Hart takes a shot at him. They're pounding in. Lucas. Here comes handsome Jimmy Valiant. Hassan knocked cockeyed by Valiant. Valiant grabs Ellering. The Southern heavyweight champ. Clear in the ring. Puts Ali Hassan down. I have still seen no sign of Billy Robinson. Ali Hassan and Ellering gone with the belts. They were awarded the AWA Southern Tag Belts. Kenny Lucas bleeding. Billy Robinson. If they already taking him out of here, the doctor? Yeah, I didn't see. I got caught up in that action. They got Billy out of there. Woo, so we're going to take time out, and we'll be back with more action on championship wrestling from the Louisville Gardens in just a moment. Wrestling action from the Louisville Gardens. In the ring right now, Rick Gibson and Dennis Condry. On the left, Dr. D, David Schultz, arguing with referee Paul Morton. And referee Tommy Marlin, this is a two-referee match. You see Robert Gibson back in the right-hand corner back there. It's the Gibsons against Schultz and Condry. Condry trying to get one of the spectators into the ring. Rick 
Gibson, Dennis Condry. Gibson on the right, Tommy Marlin in between. Dennis Condry on the left. Both referees in the ring. And the both of them grab the hair and jerk Condry right out of it. I've gotten the bad news that we're going to uh, not be able to take too much more wrestling action. We still had uh, another big match coming up, but I'm sorry. You know how it is when time is out. We've got about three minutes to go. So we'll bring you just as much as we can, and when an hour is up, an hour is up. It has been some dynamite action tonight, though, from the very first match. Assassins against Regal and Morton, Dundee and King, Lucas and Robinson drop the titles to Ellering and Ali Hassan in a bizarre match. What a wild one that one was. Brawling, walking sticks, fire, everything you name, it was all there. And Hassan and Ellering ended up with, a, with the Southern Tag titles. Robinson. We'll have to check on and see how he is. He was out in considerable pain. David Schultz, an arm bar holding by Robert Gibson who turns it over and Schultz reverses it. We're about two minutes away from it. Nice, look at that action. Oh, Schultz and Robinson. Robinson, Gibson that is, Robert Gibson. Really quick. David back in the corner talking to Dennis. Robert ready to do battle with him. And David, boy, he's a big one. You get up next to Schultz, and you realize how big he is. Stands about 6'5". He'll go somewhere around 260. And with one minute to go, before we have to take a break, action continuing between the Gibsons. Whoa! -ho -ho! Robert came up slashing. Schultz gonna slam a little finger, and Robert came up busting him. Rick Gibson in, uh, argument about whether well, there's a fist in that. They both have no love for each other. 30 seconds, we'll be taking a break. So everybody stand by, and we'll come back with as much time as we have, which is down in the minute range, <laughs> not too much. Rick Gibson side headlock on David Schultz. We're about five seconds away from break time. So right now on championship wrestling, let's take time out for this. You'll want to stay tuned to this championship wrestling on channel three for a living fact. Right now we're talking to Sonny King. He'll be involved in next Tuesday's bout against Bill Dundee. Two guys genuinely after each other. You know, Lance, I knew it was a conspiracy to start with, but everything happened is cool with me this time. When it happened to Billy Dundee in the center of the ring, they could count to 5,000 and you'll never get up. Okay, Sonny, you said it. Now, it's all going to happen right in the center of the ring in there when Sonny King takes it on with Bill Dundee. Oh, here's what I want to talk to. <laughs> hey, you go. Oh, I'm the happiest man in the world. Look, baby, the Southern Tag Team Champions. Yes, sir. Look, baby, we got the belts. You ain't seen nothing from the Sheik yet. Wasn't it a hot time in the old town last week, wasn't you're, it, brother? You're proud of that. Let me tell you one thing, Lance Russell. You better have a couple of ambulances there this week because there's going to be two guys leaving on a stretcher. Tell them, Polly, baby. It just goes to show you, you play with fire, you get burnt. <laughs> Look what we did to Buggy with Robinson. His arms are so small, they're like spaghetti. We had Ken Mucus crying like a baby in the middle of the ring. We beat them like dogs, 
And now we got the Disco Duck and Ken Mucus. They both make me sick. They're both ugly. I'm pretty. I'm beautiful. We got the oil. We got the women. We got the body. We got the brains. We got it all. Baby, you're really proud of the action that took place in the Louisville Gardens, and you won't want to miss it when the opportunity comes for Ken Lucas to get just a little revenge going against Ellering and Hussein in there, and I doubt if Jimmy Hart is going to be overlooked. Ken will have as his partner the explosive, handsome Jimmy Valiant. That's one that you will want to see. The tag belts will be at stake, and it'll be an opportunity for Ken Lucas to get one back around his waist and handsome Jimmy to add one to his southern heavyweight. Be there. Okay, Dennis Condry in with Rick Gibson now, but we don't have time to watch the rest of this match, unfortunately. Time moves it on. We've enjoyed the visit to the Louisville Gardens, where some great action has been, continues to be, and will be in the next match, but we won't be here on camera with all of it. We hope you'll join us again next week for more of our championship wrestling action. Until we see you, Lance Russell saying bye-bye, everybody.